Yes, I really got involved in this in a, in a strange way because it was in 1992 when the CODESA negotiations were going on for a new South Africa when nobody was thinking about HIV AIDS. Right from the start, um, Mr. Jimmy Jones, who was the mine manager at Shaft 9, he came on board, he came along one day and said, what do you need? So they laid on an electric cable from shaft nine, a water pipe from shaft nine, and great, we had electricity, we had water. And that, that was just a symbol of, of what we were able to do in relationship with Impala. So Impala then uh, looked at the affected communities around their mines and then funded us. Uh, Tapolojo, which means a place of peace and rest. That's what we called our program. So we had five of these models where we had a professional nurse with community workers trained to do home care nursing. I started off being a home nurse. At some houses you'd find that the, the patients have got nothing to eat. And when you get into somebody's home, somebody's looking at you with hope. Somebody's looking at you with trust. Some, somebody's looking at you with expectation that you are coming with something. And when we're finding some of the people sick, we would clean their houses. We would sometimes cook for them and make sure that when we leave that home, that patient is comfortable and is being fed. We then developed eight clinics, antiretroviral clinics, like the one you see behind me here with the patients here, eight centers. And this continued the partnership because then Impala Bafokeng Trust was set up as a funding model partnership between Impala and the Bafokeng and the Trust. And I, I can't uh, emphasize the importance of this. This, this follows crucially the thinking of uh, Dr. Motswaledi, who is the present National Health Minister, who is looking at in terms of the National Development Plan, social compact, as we call it. Impala and African Trust have really impacted on us. With, with their help, we were able to can, uh, care for our, our, our patients. So I often quote a phrase from a, a doctor, his name was Dr. Muliyil, who said once, years ago, how can I understand a figure or a statistic unless I've held the hand that it represents. Now, IBT and Impala are empowering us by their support and partnership to hold the hands of thousands of these extremely vulnerable people.